I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 432. We've been shopping for hotel rooms on the internet the same old way for much of my life. Usually it's about location, price, and amenities. Hotel Visualizer from Hotels.com uses image psychology to lead you to places you might like to stay based on your emotional responses to images displayed on the site. It appears to be in beta because options are limited. You start with a choice between two things, city and beach. You respond to the statement, I'm looking to spend most time doing, by clicking on one of nine pretty photos. Then again, you click one of another set of photos to represent the room style that suits your taste. After that, you click a photo that shows the style of restaurant in which you'd like to eat. Next up, you click a pic that represents how you want to feel on your trip. Then pick an image that matches what your idea of a fun night on the trip will be like. Finally, you click some more concrete images to answer questions about who you're traveling with, your gender, the type of trip, your age, and your destination. Click Find Hotels and it rustles up a grid of images that match your visual DNA. One of the hotels it picked for me was one I know for a fact that I like because I've stayed there before. My sense is that hotel shopping that works like this would lead to higher satisfaction rates. It would certainly be a great way to look for a home or apartment online. If Hotels.com is on the fence about using this technology, I say, do it. Gadget bags are subjective choices we make for highly personal reasons. I tend to prefer bags from Timbuktu. You probably have your own favorite. Yesterday, I was catching up on podcasting news to see if they covered the Mevia redesign, and I saw this multimedia backpack from Kata. Kata makes advanced cases, bags, vests, and carrying systems for photographers, videographers, and filmmakers. Their multimedia backpack has a top and bottom compartment separated by a removable divider. A zip pocket holds a 12-inch laptop. The side zip pocket has a cable outlet for headphones or a microphone. It's made of tear-resistant outer fabric, elastic foam padding in the middle, and a soft lining that protects gear from bumps and weather. Kata, Kata, who knows? My favorite gadget store, at least on this side of the globe, is Hamburger Schlimmer, and they've just added a couple of new items worth a mention. One is the laser-guided pool cue. They say it's the first laser-guided regulation-sized pool cue you can purchase. A touch sensor switches the red laser on and off. There's also an auto shutoff option for preserving battery life and ensuring you don't shine it in an opponent's eye. The cue breaks down into two pieces, and here's where I start saying words I don't know the meaning of. It has a secure microfiber grip and an aluminum joint and furl, in addition to two tip scuffers two chalks, three replacement leather tipped furls, and a nylon carrying case. It's powered by three one and a half volt batteries. The one thing I'll never fully understand about Hammerker Slimmer is why they renamed things. They're selling the Wowee Rovio, but they call it the Anywhere Home Century. It's a home security and communications robot that will stream audio and VGA quality video to any web browser. It'll also take still photos and email them to you. The communication part comes into play thanks to its two-way microphone and speaker system. The neatest feature is its wheels within the wheels design. Each of its three main wheels has five other smaller wheels so it can immediately change directions. You can program it to follow up to 10 paths. It'll roam for two hours and then return to its charging base. Last story, Neuros Technology is in the business of exciting Linux lovers. In 2006, they released an open source DVR intended to be hacked. They provided bounty rewards to developers for building functionality into what it could do. The OSD recorded video in SD from analog sources and used removable storage. OSD2 is the second version. It has a larger, more versatile home theater PC case, and it'll encode HD video at 720p using MPEG-4 compression. It can also record DVD quality video using H.264 and upscale it to 1080i. I love this company because their goal is to build hardware that's completely open so that developers can use it as a jumping off point to create innovative new home entertainment applications. LinuxDevices.com has the detailed specs. The link is too long to show you here, but I've got you covered in the show notes for Brief 432 at www.com geekbrief.tv. Come by and hang out. I'm Callie Lewis. Thanks for watching. It appears to be in beta ah. because options... <laughs> nice one, Zozo! Do it. I always get it wrong. Do it. Do it? A ring or cap, usually of metal, put around the end of a post. Oh, okay. So it's those little metal things at the end of a 